All right, I'm going to start the lesson off by saying all praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. I say Shalom to the brothers out there preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. And I want to say Shalom to the hopeful let. Today's lesson is entitled, These Devils Don't Care About You. I'm not talking about devil. I'm not talking about spiritual um, demon Satan, even though that devil don't care about you either. But I'm talking about the devil in the flesh, Esau, Edom, Esau, the so called white man, doesn't care about you, Jake. Right now, this article today's with August 14, 2020. And this article came out August 13, 2020. It says, Senate adjourns through Labor Day without reaching a stimulus deal. Here's where things stand now. So, what does that mean? When is Labor Day? That's what about Okay, today is the 14th. Labor Day is it's the it's the first Monday in September. So Labor Day normally would be like the first, second, or third. Now Labor Day is on the seventh. <laughs> Cause it's the first Monday. What well, the last Monday in August is the thirty first. So these devils, that's what? One, two, three weeks. Three weeks they gonna be gone, Jake. No, they not they on vacation while you you don't have any any stimulus money uh you wait on the government to to you know uh, even though dj trump signed that um supposedly give the extra four hundred dollars uh you know to help out with the unemployment but some of the states saying that they don't they they it's going to take weeks to to even get it enacted it's almost like the states are stalling because they, they want you to suffer see what i'm saying they want the American people to suffer. And then because it, it's kind of funny when they signed that last uh, CARES Act, it seemed like they got that stimulus money instantly. Not stimulus money. They got that uh, unemployment money. It just started flowing. But now they're saying that they want to, that it's going to take weeks to even get that program, you know, jump started. So you have the, the, the congressmen, they on vacation for three weeks. Well, you, you don't have your, your the stimulus money, the extra $1,200 that you probably been counting on. You know what I'm saying? So the Senate is officially adjourned through Labor Day despite not coming to an agreement on its next coronavirus stimulus package. Congress and the White House have spent the past few weeks debating what to include in their package but have been unable to come to an agreement. One of the biggest sticking points jobless benefits democrats wanted a uh, continuation of the enhanced unemployment payment of six hundred dollars per week while republicans say that amount is too high democrats are also pushing for more for more than 900 billion for state and municipal aid and 60 billion in food assistance far higher than what republicans have uh, proposed so i'm saying so they are they're arguing on what to you know how much money to you know spend on the stimulus bill while you suffering jake to showing you this devil does not care about you but we know two-thirds of nation israel this is them isaiah 31 and 1 said whoa what does whoa mean whoa means destruction see what i'm saying so when you go to this devil right now this devil is destroying you You're constantly checking you know the news constantly checking the news feed uh checking you know cnn seeing they came up with a stimulus package but guess what woe to them that go down to egypt for help see what i'm saying so you going down to egypt going down to this devil for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong you feel like this government is very strong you don't understand that Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah is, is methodically breaking down this government. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, not to seek Yahweh. Because our people, they're not looking to the Lord for help. You know what I'm saying? They always say, I love the Lord with all my heart. But they ain't, they're not praying to the Lord to help them out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? They're not praying to the Holy One of Israel to, 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 to you know, get them out of the predicament they are. They're praying to write Jesus. If they still doing that right now. Because, you know, church been shut down for the past, I don't know, six, seven months. 
So, I mean, they may not even be praying right Jesus right now. So, as the scriptures say, they don't look to the Holy One of Israel for help. They don't seek the Heavenly Father. They seek in Esau, the so-called white man. They calling on their local congressman. They they up there marching in front of the Capitol building. That's what they're doing. Instead of praying to the Lord to 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 you know open their eyes to, you know what I'm saying, to uh give them the, the, you know, the understanding of these scriptures so they can come back to the Heavenly Father. They don't want the understanding of these scriptures. That's that's old time. That's the, that's old for them. You know, they they want it now. You know what I'm saying? They they want that that uh this my money, I want it now. See what I'm saying? They come in that spirit, that that Babylon spirit, microwave spirit. So for all those, you know, for the two thirds of the nation of Israel that want it now, Isaiah thirty and eight. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come, forever and ever. See what I'm saying? That book. This is the Bible. See what I'm saying? That's the book it's talking about, these scriptures. See what I'm saying? So it's written down for us forever and ever. See, our people, they, they don't they don't want to hear the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? They, they want a handout from the government. They, they don't want to they, they don't want to cleanse their ways. See what I'm saying? They want to they want to stay, you know what I'm saying, in that, that docile state. They want to stay in that in the congregation of the dead. They don't want to wake up out of sleep. So as the scripture said, Isaiah 30 and 8, it says, Now go, write it before them in a in a table. And note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Verse 9, that this is a rebellious people. That's right. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you are some rebellious ass people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. They quit to say, um, I can eat whatever I want. Or Peter had a vision. You know, so I could just bless this food. Then it's going to be clean. No, 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 no. It, whatever is um what the lord deemed that was was unclean to eat at that point in time it's still unclean to eat jake but our people they rebellious as the scripture said that this that this is a rebellious people lying children children that would not hear the law of yahweh which say to the seers see not and to the prophets Prophesy not unto us right things. See, they, they don't want they don't want to hear the the correct, you know, hundred percent pure pure doctrine that the you know the uh, the apostles and elders and brothers of great millstone uh, are 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 teaching. They don't want to hear that. They, this is what they want to hear. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy the seeks. Yeah, Jake want to hear God loves everybody. Jake want to hear God is good all the time, and then they're gonna follow it up with. All the time, God is good. That's what Jake want to hear. They want to hear only God can judge me. They don't want you to tell them where they're going off. See what I'm saying? Our people don't want. They don't want to receive that correction. They they don't want to hear when you talking about you doing righteous judgment based upon the scriptures. And then when you pull up the scripture and it cut them to to the heart, they say, "Oh, you can't judge me all because you're doing righteous judgment." Jake don't want to hear. They want to hear you. Get them smooth thing. They want to hear you say that. You know what? It's your thing. You can do what you want to do. See what I'm saying? That's what they want to hear. They want to hear that. Obey your thirst. They want to hear. Uh, what's some of the some of the old saying? Um, obey your thirst. Uh, hungry? Why wait? See what I'm saying? Jake, Jake, don't want to wait on that. See what I'm saying? Jake, they don't want to do none of those things. They, they want you to speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Isaiah 30 and 11. It says, Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Call, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. See what I'm saying? They, they don't want to hear it. They, they, they don't want to see the Heavenly Father. They like white Jesus. They say, Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word, because you despise his truth, and trust in oppression, because you trusted in Esau, the so called white man, because he's clearly oppressing you. Here it is. You don't have any money, and it's devil on a three week vacation. <laughs> Where they do that at? <laughs> As I say in the word, where they do that at? 
Here it is. You you banking on a new stimulus package, and this dude gone home for three weeks. So that's because you despise this word and trust and oppression and perverseness and stay there on. You devil, you damn Jake, you stand on you God dog, Jake. I'm gonna read that again. Wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there on. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. So because you stay because you leaning on this devil. This, it says, therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out high, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. So imagine you got the Hoover Dam and you standing there now and it breach. You don't know when when that, that, that dam is going to break. But you see, the, you see the water slowly kind of trickling down and then all of a sudden, boom, it just busts over. That's how this iniquity going to fall upon your head, Jake. Because you stand upon this damn devil, Esau Edom, instead of trusting in the Holy One of Israel. So, hopefully this lesson was, was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.